Dwight, as the captain of the team, do you have any words to inspire the troops for tomorrow? <laughs> Thank you, Dwight. Peter, if you had to go back in time and say something to yourself at the start of this project, what would it be? Don't be stubborn, do software. Very smart. Um, I would say uh, design quicker and do better and do more <laughs> and do and, and uh, rob somebody for thousands of dollars. Okay, great. Myself, I would say do more cat modeling um, of putting things together than modeling the individual parts and seeing if they fit together in real life. Um, because we had a few things where we had to buy parts to make it work and we could have figured that out sooner if we had fit it together in the model. Okay, thank you. Uh, don't be stupid. Thank you, Connor. Please, please just do it early. That. That is our, our senior member, um, Wesley Fletcher, in frog form. And what what is this? That's a toast chi cracker, something that we have as a staple of lab food. And hey, Peter, what has been the most rewarding thing for you about this entire experience? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> the dogs are out. <laughs> Okay, I can't put any of this on YouTube. Peter, how do you feel about losing the hat competition? I just thought it was like hard for Dwight, what's been your favorite part of the trip? Peter, end of day two, how you feeling? Terrible. Terrible, 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 absolutely terrible. terrible. All right. More so than days. Is there anything you want to say to inspire hope at all? No, no, I have no hope. God awesome. Is, God is dead. <laughs> and Peter killed him. <laughs> Peter killed God. Yes. Okay. Hanging out with the homies. Hanging out, seeing the robot drive for the first time. Going to the pool. All right, so how do we do on the design portion of the competition? So, we, uh, for our written report, um, we did pretty, pretty well, around an A. Um, our oral presentation, we did, like, uh, we only dropped a couple points. We did pretty good on that. The examination of vehicle was not as it should be. It was kind of like half credit there. Mm. But uh, overall, I think we did really good, very confident in, in our performance. And I think uh, we learned a lot, which is the important thing. Hey, Peter, how you feeling? Subpar. Excellent. Yeah, what's been the most rewarding part of this whole process? Um, I'd say for me, it's just like working with the robot. I really enjoy robotics. Uh, you can mind like a lot of the things I enjoy, but the hard work the software and just working through the problems bit by bit, but really fast. All right. Ooh, definitely seeing the robot go and do the things it's supposed to. I'm on the software team, so it's a lot of just looking at the numbers and I'm just seeing the screen and being like, in theory, and then it actually doing the thing, and that's, that's very rewarding. Uh, I mean, qualifying is pretty good. Pretty seeing it actually, like, work. Uh, so honestly, it's great just to meet everybody like, at the competition and just talk to other teams. Uh, because, uh, at least for me, I've been doing electrical and mechanical of our robot. So like a lot of it is just like waiting something breaks uh, to fix it. So like in the meantime, I've just been talking with other teams and just like getting good ideas, uh, figuring out like what teams are doing good, what teams are doing bad, and uh, so we get approved for next year, uh, basically. Uh, that's probably the best thing about coming out here. Uh, that's why uh, uh, even though we weren't that confident when we came out here, uh, we were like just gonna be happy to be qualified. Uh, now we're just like, cool, we've got a lot of experience. Now uh, we know what, what to do better next year. Nice. Yeah, at least like last night we were up until I think about 3, 4, 5 a.m. and we finally got the pod to drive on its own power for the first time and I think I actually cried. <laughs> it was amazing. Right. So that was pretty gratifying just seeing like the first bird labor, I guess. Yeah. It's scary to meet all the people here and to see how all the robots have been working and all the algorithms that I just see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, actually seeing a creation that, that you've made and it's working in the real field, which can be applied, you know, in many areas. And it's working actually. We've just finished uh, a run and we've almost entered no man's land. And we are uh, working hard and our hard work is paying off basically. Yeah.
All right, so you guys obviously made out like bandits in this competition. Um, so what would you say like inspires you or drives you to like keep working, like, even if it's like tough? Yeah. Um, well, I, it's kind of a cliche answer, but I, I like to try and, like, do new things. I, like, I, um, I like to try and solve problems, so that's pretty, yeah. I like problem solving as well, and I've been working with Dr. Tony for, uh, five years now, and this is the culmination of it. Alright. What team are you on? I'm on the Cedarville University uh, Delta B team. All right. I'm from Rutgers. I guess the Intelligence oh, Systems Club you have on Dearborn. Lawrence Tech. Yeah, uh, the actor team from Lawrence Tech. Uh, it's for Autonomous Campus Transport, which is something that we say it will do eventually. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're from uh, the University of Oklahoma with Sooner Competitive Robotics. I'm from Team Darwin. We're from India. Alright. Uh, NMMS University. And yep. Um, Oakland University. Alright, very cool. Home team. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Hey Connor, you've had to do this all over again, would you? Like three Probably. Learned a lot.